What's up you guys? Today you're gonna to learn how to make a drum kit without having to use FPC as well as how to layer sounds without having to copy over notes every single time that you wanna add a new layer to that sound. Please smash that like button and subscribe. I've got a bunch of percussion here that I want to turn into a little drum kit. To do this, I'm going to go at and I'm going to go to layer. Layer has a few different fun options, but first things first is we're going to set our children by highlighting these set children and this is going to layer everything we now have everything layered but let's say that we don't want it layered instead we want to have a drum kit well there's a little layering drop down right here we can click split children and now there is one per note and this is perfect for taking any drums that you've loaded into your channel rack turning them into a drum kit, but still keeping your ability to edit all of them individual, individually and send them all off to separate mixer channels. If you were to do this in other programs, then there's still ways you could route them to other mixer channels, but it wouldn't be as easy as going control L and sending them all to mixer tracks using hotkeys and quick shortcuts like that. So what are the other options in layer? Well, we have a filter as well as a resonance. Which is pretty cool for doing modulation to an entire drum kit. We can show children, which will show everything that's uh, linked to this. And we have other options. We can reset children, which will reset them all to a single note. We also have group children, and what this will do is how every time you drag audio in from the browser, the audio gets its own section here, it'll create a section there. So if I decide to group children, it'll ask me what I want to group it as, and I can group it as whatever I want. Cool way for some quick organization. And now that we have these all on one note, we do have these cool little options where it goes random. We have sequential, which will do from the top down. And then we have crossfade, which will use this little fader here. To decide how it's gonna crossfade between the different options. We of course also have delete children, which can get rid of all of them. If they're all set to the same note, then we can play them melodically, which allows for really cool layering if you're doing multi-synth layering and things like that. Hope this video was helpful. If you liked this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios.